Hello, the Gentleman Gamer here, and today I'm playing ESO. Uh, in my last video, we were on our way to the uh, the Brass Fortress. Uh, let's actually take a refresh where we're supposed to go here. Uh, that's there. Oh, it's actually the big chunk of the map is actually the Brass Fortress. All right, so let's jump onto the mount here, make it a little quicker. I haven't explored much of this area though, but I want to continue with the storyline. And we'll, if you see anything of interest on the way, we'll give it a we'll give a stop and look. So all of this, since we are in uh, the Clockwork City at the moment, all of this is artificial. None of this is actually organic, which is actually pretty interesting. All the trees, the rocks, yeah, you pretty much so this still pretty much simulated Nern. Whoa, what are you? Oh, oh let's, let's see if we can take this guy on. Oh, I, I remember these. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa. I remember this thing. I remember this thing from Morrowind. They look a little cooler here, though. <laughs> yeah, I've actually never seen these in Morrowind, though. It looks like it's augmented, though. It's not completely um, completely mechanical. Interesting. Okay. Let's take a look at this. Oh, cool. Um, yeah, I'll we'll take that. All right. Again, I think all this stuff is um, probably... Um, Sothasil's little twist on uh, on the things he sees in Nern. I'm assuming all the creatures here are all manufactured by him. Like that. <laughs> Very interesting. Okay. I, I'm curious on why he constructed a mini Nern. Um, I wonder what the purpose is. Are we nearby yet? Let's see here. What are you? Oh, you made beetles as well. Let's see what these guys do. Let's check these guys out. Uh, they shoot lightning at you. Okay. Okay, a little area of effect lightning. Eh, not that hard, though. Got these robots here again. They're not friendly, though. What are they up to, huh? What are you digging up? See if we can take these guys on. Oh, he's a healer. Oh, no, 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 that. No healing from you. Oh, get some help. Very nice. Oh, there's a warden. Very useful bear. Yeah, they drop oscillators and some equipment. Alright. Not too tough. Not too tough. Let's keep make our way to the Brass Fortress. I don't know why all the robots are hostile, though. It's kind of weird. Also hostile. <laughs> Let's try to avoid them. If you keep fighting everything we see... Oh, we're going to have to fight him, apparently. On the path, yeah. Oh, a beetle! No, dancing spider. Oh man, look at that thing! Whoa! Get away! Get away! Wow, that's interesting looking. <laughs> okay, let's keep moving. Try to avoid fights. I do want to get to the Brass Fortress. Are we, are, we, are we at least in the area? Okay, we are. We are. We are getting there. Okay. Oh wait, there's a bridge there though. Is that where we're supposed to go? I'm thinking yes. I think we're going the wrong way. All right, let's go that. I don't. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was the robot talking. Yes, I want to hit that bridge up. That looks pretty cool. This might be a side way to get in and out. 
Let's see if we can take the official way in. Oop, let's avoid that guy. Okay. Threat awareness. Oh, not me. I'm not a threat. Look, I'm gonna have a robotic spider. I totally fit in. Oh, that's actually a pretty cool little, uh... This is a pretty cool bridge. I'm digging this. Spider's way too slow, though. Oh, yeah, he's back. Hello. You've arrived. Good. Oh, cool. All right. Let's see. What do we talk to now? I warned you never Whoa. to come back. That's an entrance. Oh, hello. And you, one of Fear's lackeys, I take it. Me? No. Hospitable as ever. Go talk to her. I'll not waste my time speaking with a petulant toy soldier. Oh, wow. Burn. All right, let's talk to her. Hold oh there, my God, her face. Dear. I am Proctor Luciana Pulo of the Clockwork Apostles. I don't know how you and this egomaniac breached Lord Set's Celestia drone, but I won't have non-citizens stirring up mischief in the Brass Fortress. Oh, you need to be a citizen to get in, huh? Um, how do I get in? Only just arrived and already trying to grease the gears? <coughs> New arrivals must secure an endorsement from a citizen in good standing. I'm prepared to overlook your atrocious choice in companions if you can find a sponsor. <laughs> Until then, you are tarnished. Tarnished, okay. I'm assuming Fry has caused some issues in the past. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Um, how do I get a citizen to sponsor me? That's for you to find out. Not many citizens will risk their reputation on a green-heeled stranger, and you'll find no comfort from me. Maybe you should confer with the other tarnished over there. In the meantime, obey the law. I'll be watching. All right, all right, we'll figure it out, I guess. Let's talk to him, see what he's... Tread carefully, Fear. I'll be watching. <laughs> what did he do? Lushana clearly hasn't lost her charming demeanor. <laughs> <laughs> it seems I won't be walking to say till I find a, found a sponsor. Ah, yes. Their bizarre sponsorship custom. I forgot about that little wrinkle. As a friend and peer of Sotha Seal, I come and go as I please. I suppose it would be best for you to wait out here. If I need you again, I will find you. Hey, again, why don't you sponsor me? That's a good idea. I'm not a citizen. Oh. Well, even if I were... I'd not waste time wading through their opaque bureaucracy. You've proven <laughs> yourself to be more than capable. I have no doubt you'll figure something out. Gain your sponsorship. We'll speak again soon. So we got here. We got living shadow skin. Medium. Uh, I don't use medium armor, though. Oh, well. I appreciate your assistance in the pneumatic forge, but for now, our paths must diverge. The artifact we seek will not remain in one place for long. I can ill afford a delay. Navigate this absurd ritual quickly. I will find you again afterward. Okay, uh, actually, before you go, who is um, Lucia Polo? One of Sotha Seal's greater lackeys. Chief Proctor of the Clockwork Apostles. You might have noticed some mild cosmetic flaws. Yeah. Honestly, I think she's more automaton than flesh and blood. She certainly acts the part. Oh, I see. Okay. Why doesn't, it, why, why doesn't Imperial serve a dark elf god? Seal takes all kinds. Imperials, Bretons, even Argonians. Luciana may be one of his oldest servants. She served Emperor Riemann Cyrodiil as a battle mage in her younger years. Made quite a name for herself during the Akaviri invasion. Huh. How old is she then? That's kind of weird. Okay, what happened to her? How'd she end up here? According to the legend, she was caught in a torrent of arcane energy during a battle with a rival mage. It mangled her body and sent her hurtling through the veil. She eventually crashed here. Seal found her shortly thereafter and mended her wounds. So now she serves him. Indeed. At first, I thought she served him out of some cheap obligation. Reciprocity for his kindness. But apparently, she really believes in this place. I heard they had a bit of a falling out. She still serves him, though. In her 
dog-like fashion. She didn't seem happy to see you. Yeah, what happened, man? What'd you do? People like her rarely are. You see, I present a destabilizing influence. I reject all illusions of authority and thus reject their entire way of life. Hierarchy, ritual, reverence, it's all a sham. I respect power, not absurd social constructs. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, why did Lucia refer to so the Seal as Set? Seal has many names. So the Seal, Set, C, the Clockwork God, on and on. Tiresome, if you ask me. The Clockwork Apostles mostly refer to him as Set, his verse and sermon name. I call him Seal. Because I'm not a doe-eyed idiot. <laughs> uh, Lucia mentioned the Clockwork Apostles. Yes, a monastic order of sorts. They serve Sutha Seal through magical inquiry. Apostles fancy themselves iconoclasts who push the boundaries of magical praxis. There's a seed of truth there, I suppose, but they're still obnoxious. I see. Are they all like Lucille? <laughs> you mean, are they all half-metal monstrosities? <laughs> More or less. Some modify themselves more than others. It's a form of reverence. They want to be more like Sotha Seal. Okay. You see, Seal has some peculiar... Well, I'll let you see for yourself. Oh, he's modified too. Okay. Goodbye. Alright, let's, uh, let's see here. Who do we, we talk to? I don't see anyone else out here. Oh. Oh man. Did newcomer, eh? How did Naramo get here? Let's talk. Well, if it isn't my <coughs> second oh, man. assistant. What a fortuitous turn of events. I shouldn't be surprised. You have a knack for appearing when I need you most. Yeah, but I take it you haven't found a sponsor yet. Maybe we can help each other. Whatever mind. Initially, I thought we could rely on my ample charms to win us a sponsor. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> the people here tend to value craft over the pleasure of my company. Weird. Weird. Providing some gift or service seems to be the only way to earn a sponsorship. Any potential sponsors? Yes. A clockwork apostle named Varuni Arvel. Apparently, she's a member of the Congress of Calibration, the governing body here in the city. My associates, Kirith and Raynor, are already working on a plan to earn her trust. Will you help us? All right, sure. This promises to be a fruitful collaboration. I tasked Kirith and Raynor with acquiring gifts for Varuni, but they tend to wander. Kirith's just there by the cliff. You should speak with her. In the meantime, I'll conduct more research. Question. Questions? Yeah, yeah. How did you get here? I went through that whole process, but how did you get here? Seeing as you found your own way here, I suppose there's no harm in sharing my own methods. I just learned of a secret cave beneath the city of Mournhold that, <coughs> until recently, was entirely inaccessible. Can you imagine? Yeah, I can definitely imagine. Fearing that the tribunal might seal it again, I set off through the cavern as soon as I could. It pained me to leave my usual cohorts behind. But this duo, Kirith and Raynor, have performed admirably. Who are they? A pair of dark elf explorers. Like me, they delight in all things mechanical. Their youth and endless sibling rivalries can prove irksome. But what they lack in experience, they more than make up for in enthusiasm. Maybe they didn't join you for this trip? Unfortunately, my illustrious bodyguard was away on personal business. I know better than to ask for specifics. I certainly miss her services, but one makes do. <laughs> Alright, goodbye. Let's talk to the other tarnished out here. See what's going on. Oop. So that pompous high <coughs> elf got his hooks in you too, huh? Oh. <laughs> I told my brother Raynor we should go it alone. But any house in an ash storm, right? Speaking of Raynor, he might need your help. Is he in trouble? Depends on your definition of trouble, I guess. He's down in the ravine playing with the firepot spiders for some reason. Oh. He wouldn't tell me more. Unfortunately, those spiders have a tendency to, you know, explode. 
Oh, okay. What, um, what would he do that? Like I said, he didn't want to discuss it. Probably hmm. whipped up an automata disrupting spoon twirler or something. He gets like this sometimes. Just check in on him, right? He's clumsy and those apostles' mechanical limbs are expensive. <laughs> All right, I'll check up on him. Thanks for the help. Rain or smoke. All right, what, um, where do you see? Let's look here. Switch, switch, switch. The right one. All right, let's look for Rainer real quick. Sergeant Baldan, this one has the gold you requested. Will you still sponsor me? I gave you my word, didn't I? Come, cat. We can discuss the specifics in my office. Oh, he bribed this way. Blessings, Walker. Lankin has much to offer the brass fortress. Yes, I'm sure you do. So that guy wants gold. <laughs> Easy gold, easy to come by, right? Um, how do we get down here? Let's jump down. That's safe. This is the way to get down. <laughs> Let's take a look at the map. Again, I guess not. I guess we can just cross the bridge again. I guess. Now, I'm not sure what he's doing with um, the exploding spiders. Um, but hopefully, something terrib too terribly dangerous. Um, but uh, getting in will be a little harder than I thought. Um, I didn't know about the whole bureaucracy uh, ritual thing. They get into the city. I thought he kind of just waltz in like most of Morrowind. Um, where is he? Oh, he's down below. I might have to take out that. Um, that, uh, that route, that winding route down the mountain. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, let's, uh, let's not engage all three. That not seem very hard, but... I don't want to give them the, that much of an advantage. Let's see. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I did it anyway. Right, uh, spider actually like shoots mortars out. Really? <laughs> shoots like fire mortars out. Okay, let's explode after death though, which is good. Okay. Uh, why is he playing with those? I don't know. That looks like a very dumb thing to do. Where is he at? Quite a ways away. All right. The mount up. See, that makes it a little faster. Ooh, a lot of lots of spiders around here. What is this stuff? That oh, sounds like oil. Ooh, that I need. Let's get that. Yes, yes. Useful. Alright, where is this guy? Oh. It literally feels like oil. <laughs> nope. See how tough this guy is? Hit the right buttons. Oh, no, no, no. It doesn't look like water. Oh well. Alright. Let's see if we find this guy. Alright, I found him. Hello. Ah, greetings. Please don't mind me. Actually, do mind me. I'm conducting an experiment on these firepot spiders, and so far the results have proven explosive. <laughs> oh, really? Probably give this place a wide berth for the time being. Kira sent me down and look for you. Kira? So you've joined our band of outsiders? Yes, I guess Welcome. so. Now look, I may lack Kira's natural talent with a blade, but I can accomplish this on my own. Varuni's sure to sponsor us once I deliver this. Ugh. Who am I kidding? I do need your help. <laughs> what are you trying to do? These firepot spiders contain a highly unstable oil-like fluid. The dangers inherent to acquiring it make it very valuable indeed. 
I discovered a way to prevent the spiders from detonating. But even defuse, they're more than capable of killing me. Oh, okay. Can you siphon the oil if I disable them? So you'll do it? Yes, of course. If you attract the spiders, it's <laughs> a great idea, I guys. I can use this tonal dampener to disarm their ignition coils. Just a simple matter of inverting their threat assessment array and... Sorry. Right. I can get carried away sometimes. Just make sure that I don't die, okay? I right, enable the explosion, I disable the spiders, and then give you oil to give that dude. Alright, got it. Deal. Alright, so you gotta do four of these, right? Alright, so let's see here. Where are... I need spider, I need one. No, I can't find one now. There we are. So what do I do? I just pack them. Okay. So he stops him from happening. Okay, that works. Okay. Another spider over here. Alright. Whereas I need another one now. Uh, any more spiders? Oh, there's a spider. Alright, good, good. Need one more spider. Where are they? Wrong button. Well, they don't seem that hard. As long as you get... You get underneath their, uh... There you go. Excellent. All right, what do we do now? Brilliant. We really made short work of those spiders, didn't we? Here, you can carry the oil. <laughs> Thanks. Why do you think this fire pot oil? Take the oil to Varun. Miramo said she has an office in the Clockwork Basilica. Okay. Hopefully, this will be enough to earn a sponsorship. If you don't mind, I'll accompany you to the gate. Can't be too careful out here. All right, let's make to the gate. Is there a quick way to make to the gate from here? Is that a way up? Uh, I think so. Let's, let's see if this is a way up. This way maybe. Let's see if this way is a faster. I don't feel like going all the way back up the other way. So hopefully this gets us inside the brass fortress. I was hoping to get inside the brass fortress and actually do some quests inside of it in this video, but I don't think I can. I think it's been taking a bit too long to get inside. I'll probably wait till the next video, I guess. But let's make it there and see if we can at least get in. Uh, are we here yet? Oh! Oh! Okay, cool. That's <laughs> a little faster way. Alright. Again. Can I, luck in the basilica. can I just go in? Oh, cool, okay. I don't know I can go in before. Alrighty. Level 60 rewards are available. Oh, cool. Claim now. I don't know what that means, but... Oh. This is new. Oh, I didn't know this is a thing. Let's be new here. Trapture point, skill point. Dungeon finder unlocked. Unlock, wayward rest, one. What's this? Contains items for spell casting, spell casting armor. Assassin armor. A warrior. Oh, interesting. Um, Well, I'm more of a mage, so let's go with the Taylor's Advanced Crafting Box claim. Oh. oh, this is definitely new. So next level is attribute point and weapon enchantment choice. Next milestone is twenty. You get three points, three skill points, a flame astronaut crate. Oh, cool! Dungeon finder unlock city of ash, and costume choice. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> that's very very cool. Uh, 
Yeah, they made some changes to this until <laughs> since I last played. Okay, cool. Um, well, I'll do that stuff off off the camera. Let's um, let's live with the oil at the very least, and then we'll end the video there. And then after that, we can do some quests from inside the Brass Fortress. Once I find out where I'm going. Where am I going? Oh, okay. So around this bend here, or this building. Yeah, so this looks very much... The whole city looks very... It looks dumber inspired. I mean, uh, Dwemer inspired. But definitely a, a little bit of a, of a Dunmer. Dark Elf Inspiration 2. It looks pretty interesting. Excuse me. Who do I talk to in here? It's like a weird mix of, of Dwemer and like... Uh, Morrowind architecture. Got some guards. Provost office, okay. Ah, here it is. And just as I promised, my assistant arrives. <laughs> assistant again, huh? Sponsor, right? Yes, yes, yes. We talked to him. Greeting auxiliary. Is your friend correct? Did you bring an offering? Yes, explosive oil harvested from a dangerous fire pot spiders. Fire pot oil. Tremendous. And you managed to keep all ten fingers. Yes, you did. I'm impressed. <laughs> Thank you. Now, to the matter of your citizenship, you're clearly a capable warrior. But in the Clockwork City, mental precision is of paramount importance. All right, how do I prove that? A number of outsiders have gone missing in recent weeks. Oh. I fear someone might be abducting them, or worse. But I have no proof. I spoke to your friend Naramu. Hmm. And he insists you can gather the evidence I need. Succeed, and I'll sponsor you all. All right, all right. All right, Norma, I'll find the proof you need. Try to keep this inquiry quiet, all right? In the Clockwork City, even a small creak in the gears can draw curious <laughs> Creak in the gears. <laughs> Interesting. Um, we can ask a few questions, I guess. Tell me, uh, tell me more about the Sill. Of course. Lord Set, known to many as Sotha Seal, is the father of curiosity. By his word, we create, perfect, and overcome. He cares for all of us, just as a clockmaker cares for each gear and spring. Every piece matters, no matter how small. Okay, you seem to know a lot about him. I do a lot of reading. It's all there in the sermons. The sermons? Some people think he's aloof, <laughs> callous even. But I disagree. He stands with us in a way that Vivek and Alma Alexia never could. And he'll guide us all to a better world. I don't know the sermons for this guy. That's weird. Okay. Who are you again? Provost Varuni Avel, ranking disquisitor in the Congress of Calibration. Before you ask okay. this, I'm a bit young for such a tenurial position. Fortunately, uh. Lord Set established a true meritocracy here. One day, I'll get a chance to thank him. Oh, and they actually don't meet this person. Lord Set meeting with Lucille, right? Never met him? Bet. No. Lord Set's far too busy. He only recently emerged from seclusion in the Cargaton Centralis. He's addressed the Congress, but <coughs> I haven't had an opportunity to present myself. You should be thoroughly prepared when you meet a god, right? I would think so, yes. I think but that's where we'll end the video today, guys. After this, we will uh, find the evidence we need and hopefully um, gain sponsorship. But until then, guys, thanks for watching. If you like the video, of course, leave a like. If you like the content, of course, subscribe and travel safe. I uh, will see you next time.